Hello, Father James Kubicki here. As a member of a religious order, the Jesuits, I'm not allowed to have private property. Everything I have and use ultimately belongs to the community. And most of our communities don't have pet dogs because of the care they require and the frustration dogs experience having so many so-called masters. But some years ago, one of our high school communities had a St. Bernard dog named Bubba. I used to think that this large breed of dog was named after the Cistercian monk, St. Bernard of Clairvaux, but that's not the case. This famous breed of dog was named after a different saint whom the church honors today, St. Bernard of Menton on the border between France and Switzerland. He was born around the year 1000, and as a boy, he loved to hike in the mountains. In time, he became a priest who trekked all over the Alps, preaching to the mountain people. St. Bernard created a monastery with a hospice for travelers at 8,100 feet, and another at 7,076 feet, now known as Great and Little St. Bernard Passes. He died at the age of 81, and in 1923, Pope Pius XI, who, like St. John Paul II, was an avid mountain climber, named St. Bernard the patron saint of mountaineers. In time, the monks who served those two passes in the Alps developed a breed of large dogs and trained them to rescue lost travelers. The most famous of these dogs, named Barry, died at the age of 14 in 1814 having rescued more than 40 travelers. In the late 1800s, these dogs were named after St. Bernard of Menton, and today, some of them still live at the monasteries, though helicopters are now used to rescue lost hikers and skiers.